Hey guys, welcome back to the channel that teaches you how to make Procreate brushes. After many, and I mean many, requests for this, I have finally cracked the code, and now I am proud to present the 3D brush. It's a round brush with a 3D effect based on the blending and brush shape. It's a dual brush that when combined produces an opaque stroke. I'll be teaching you to make a monoline and taper brush version so you can create amazing calligraphy art in no time. So let's get started and make this brush. Let's first create our brush shape by creating a square canvas with the background color set to pure black. Using our monoline brush and drawing with pure white, let's create a circle. Let's change the color to a light gray. Go to the airbrushing section of the brush library and choose soft brush. Go back to the canvas and tap the plus sign to make a new layer. Tap on the layer and choose clipping mask. Lower the opacity and size of the brush and lightly paint a curve at the bottom left of the circle at an angle. Then let's lower the opacity and size again and lightly tap outside the top right corner. Now let's add our highlights by switching to pure white, creating a new layer, and activating clipping mask. Raise the opacity, reduce the size, and tap lightly here around the bottom left of the shape. Do another one here at the top right. Reduce the brush size and tap again right beside it. When you have something that looks like a smooth and shiny metal ball, you've got your brush. Now let's create the first brush that we need by hiding all the clip layers until you just have the plain white circle. Swipe down with three fingers and choose copy all. Choose the brush library and tap on the plus sign to make a new brush. In stroke path, all settings need to be at none. In stabilization, set streamline amount and pressure to 70%, stabilization amount to 30%, and motion filtering amount to 30% as well. In shape, Tap on Edit beside Shape Source, tap Import, and choose Paste. Tap Done twice to save selection. In the Grain sidebar, under Grain Behavior, set Blend Mode to Linear Burn. In Rendering, set Rendering Mode to Light Glaze, and Blending Flow should be at Max. Now let's set our brushes to perform dual color duties in the Color Dynamics sidebar. Set stroke color jitter, lightness, darkness, and secondary color all to max. Under color pressure, set secondary color to max as well. In Apple Pencil, set pressure opacity to none. Finally, in the properties sidebar, under brush properties, turn off orient to screen, and set preview to 10%. Under brush behavior, Set maximum size to max, minimum size to 10%, and maximum and minimum opacity both to max. Now we have created our first brush with all the pertinent settings styled in. All we have to do now is to go back to our canvas, reveal all the clip layers, swipe down with three fingers, and choose copy all. Go back to the brush library, duplicate the first brush you created, go into the brush settings, Go to Shape, tap on Edit beside Shape Source, tap Import, and choose Paste. Tap Done twice to save selection. And now we have our second brush, which we will leave highlighted as this will be our primary brush. 
Then we swipe right on the first brush, which then highlights them both in different shades of blue, and tap on Combine. It is very important that the brush with the 3D shape is highlighted first before swiping on the other brush, otherwise the effect won't take. And just like that, you have your monoline round 3D brush. Now, I'll show you how to use it. Tap on the color picker dot here, and if you're on any of the tabs down here besides palettes, you will see the two color squares up here. Tapping on one or the other makes that the primary color, the one you're painting with. But in the case of this dual color brush, the primary color is the color beneath, while the other color will be the top shade. You should use a darker color for the bottom shape and a lighter color for the top one to make your stroke look extra 3D. If you do the opposite, the results don't look quite as effective, but you know, sometimes it could work. Feel free to play around with color combinations until you find something you like. Now, let's change this from a monoline brush to a taper one for more variety. All you have to do is duplicate your 3D brush, go into the brush settings, and you'll see that you have two brushes that you'll need to change the settings to. Go to Apple Pencil and set pressure size to max for the first one, then tap on the second brush and do the same. So there it is, the 3D brush you've been waiting for. It's my thank you to all of you for getting this channel to its second milestone of 500 subscribers. That honestly is just amazing to me. Uh, keep an eye on the community tab where I'll be posting upcoming tutorials, create polls, and just general fun announcements. Thank you all so much for the support, the comments, subscriptions, and likes, and I hope to create more brushes that you love creating art with. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you then. Bye!